What's up, guys? Welcome to House of Insanity. We're playing D&D Neo. Hey, Dick. I didn't start the video yet. Well, too bad. I'm continuing anyways. Anyways. Yes, this is D&D Neo. This fool, <laughs> this fool just likes suffering. Yes. And today we are doing D&D, which, if you know, everything in this game is done through... Well, dice rolls. <clears throat> and, well, I got the new weapon, and it's a dice roll. Why didn't the guy follow you? Oh, simple. I ran away from him. I ran away from him, too, and he chased my ass. I actually had to fight him with my fist. You yeah. are so freaking unlucky. If you say so. <laughs> Shut up. Anyways, this is just a tutorial. And we are not going to be starting here. We are going to be starting on the island of whatever it's called. Yeah, but there could still be a funny moment here. You never know, he could die. Yeah, I've done it before. I mean, it doesn't help that there's a flickering happening on our screen and there's nothing we can do about it. True. Very true. Anyways, um, let's break down the rules on um, everything that is going on here. Hold on, before we break down the rules, the rules will appear on the screen as we say them. So, from top to bottom, rule number one, weapons are decided by a die. I must use them before swapping. What does this mean? Explain. It pretty much means that we have two weapons um, that we have to choose from. However, um, for any reason, if I only use one weapon, I still cannot swap it out until I use it. So, I have to use both weapons before I actually am allowed to swap out. Chris? Yes, I do. Armor chosen by dice must be must use the upgraded version. Yeah. What this means is, in this game, there are many different levels of, that, of um, armor, from common to legendary. I am going to use the best version of it, making it simple for me, otherwise the dice rolls are going to be into ludicrous numbers of the 100-sided die. Okay, number three? Yep. Reroll at shrines. What does this mean? <clears throat> this means that shrines are going to be checkpoints where we will re-roll everything from armor, weapons, utility, leveling up, and so on and so forth. Number four. I am not allowed to farm unless I repeatedly die. Before we continue this, how many times are we going to say repeatedly die? Is? I'm going to say about three times um, rule of three. Makes yeah. it yeah. easy. Now after that... Then you roll a number to see how many levels you gain, meaning that that's how much XP you can gain. Sorry, I know I took over your spot, but yeah, pretty simple. Pretty, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Number five. Upgrades are random, but I upgrade as much as possible at the shrine. Explain. Um. What I this means is I up, uh, leveling upgrade, such as um. Can I show you? On the status screen, you see body, heart, stamina, strength, skill, dexterity, magic, and spirit. These are all chosen by random, meaning I have no decision on what points I am allowed to use whenever I level up. Okay. Number six. Deity is at random. Once again, this is uh, decided at the shrine. I am not allowed to choose anything including the god I worship in this game. Hence, the shrine right here. Sadly, I don't have any deities or other stuff to choose in the tutorial, which is why we are starting on the island, not the tutorial. Okay. Now, this part's the convoluted one. Roll either a 1 of 6 to find out what you're going to be doing during that checkpoint. You may not, you cannot change unless you die repeatedly, so are three times. I'm just going to read what they are. Number one, be a pacifist, meaning you don't kill anything. Number two, utilize only items. Uh, 
Number three, can only use range. Number four, can only use melee. Number five, ranged and melee, but no item, uh, except heal. Number six, go nuts. This is pretty much self-explanatory. From Shrine to Shrine, I have to do what the dice roll tells me to do. So if I roll a one, I must run from one shrine to another without killing anybody, using any heals, or any items in general. While at the same time, if I roll six, I can do whatever I please so long as I kill everybody for point A to point B and everything in between. Uh, oh man, it's not going to be recorded, but we're going to give you guys some tip, uh, a tip on something. Oh, oh, almost a five. Um, so we're not going to record the actual tutorial this game has because, funny well, enough, this isn't the legit tutorial. But he actually has to do it, otherwise he can't upgrade a few of his skills. Which are also got to be chosen by random. Even so, it's better you're not locked out of everything. True, true. So, yeah, it's going to take him like maybe five minutes to get through that, but still, it won't appear in this. But it is a tip to you if you do want, want to get this game. Do the tutorial. You have to. And that'll be it. We'll yeah. see you after the tutorial. Oh, well, let's keep recording. Let's see what happens. Yep. I think the audio might be freaking out, but it's fine. We can, we can use this as a test afterwards. Just don't die. I can't tell if the audio... Oh. Oh, well. At least we did what you said. What? Pause the game audio so there's no sound coming out of the game audio of the actual capture. So it's just us. Yay! <laughs> my bad, my bad. I'm just gonna leave it that way. Just remind me when I start the next one to actually turn that on. Ah, so in yeah, But we still explained everything correctly. Um, oh no, we didn't. You know that theory. No, you didn't. This bullshit. I mean, I don't understand. Yeah, we're and, not. Um, you know, okay. So you know where this madness came from? Where the uh, where we're having this, we were having these issues. We started to try to do this for Dark Souls Three and realized a major problem. Well, in, no, this started um, in Bloodborne no, no, no. after the third one. I'm right? saying where we had to define the rules. Ah. It was in Dark Souls 3. Um, we had... Aren't you going to fight the knights? Yeah. Alright, anyways. In Dark Souls 3, the problem we had was... Um, our rules seemed convoluted to an actual Dark Souls player. And he wouldn't stop. So we kind of just said, you know what? It's already proven that Dark Souls is not made for this game. Or made for this stop. But maybe we're wrong. We're thinking maybe we should jump back to the original... But then Neo came out and he said, Neo's probably easier for this right now. Since it's pretty much Bloodborne 2.0. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I'm curious if you can beat these two. I have, multiple times already. I no, have I have played the game, I have not beaten the game. Of course. Uh, Ow! You asshole! Okay, swapping to a weapon, I am good. <laughs> yeah, for me, I actually, when I killed these guys, I felt super proud, and then I prayed to a shrine. Kids, don't pray to shrines. It brings back the dead. Oh, <laughs> death! It's the first death! <laughs> we should have captured that. It's being captured. Oh, cool. I told you, we're not stopping the audio and everything. We're going to get through this part. All right. Um, now time for true pacifists, just for you guys to really see what that actually means. Just run for your motherfucking life. <laughs> uh, now, I guess I should ask you, because when we did do this in Bloodborne, and, uh, oh, actually, that's a good thing to address, even though this is in here. Mm -hmm. So, in Bloodborne, 
if you guys did watch the series and you did enjoy it, you're probably asking why the hell did we stop? We kind of stopped for a big problem. Her name was... <laughs> Her name was Vic, uh, Victor Amelia, right? Uh, yeah, if you, um, if we are getting this wrong, the second main boss, the one that heals. The only problem we were running into is that he couldn't kill it, and he just kept dying and dying and dying, and it ended where we just had too many death footage, and it was just sad. So I mean, it was funny. So we thought maybe we could come back to this. I don't know. Oh yeah, when I first fought this guy, I felt he was too easy. Oh I, yeah, he is. No, but I was like, this is the first boss? Why do I feel like I'm getting cheated out of a Dark Souls clone? Are you guys are comparing it to Dark Souls? No. I waited till the after part, then I was like, oh. Because I was going to say, I'm not good at Dark Souls games. I hate those games. I did a video on that. You should check my video out. <laughs> And skip. Aw, we get to see you didn't want to see the bad guy? I wanted to see the bad guy. Ow. Are you serious? Yes. Woo! Oh yeah, I remember that. I poked him and then I realized he had super armor. It hurt. There's one easy way to do that. He spams that charge move. Oh I know. I figured that out afterwards, but even still, that super armor did not help. Ah. What? What? You dodged. Ah! Whee! Fuck you. And the horse you rode on to. And... Epic moment. Okay, skipping. I'm a boss. <laughs> okay. So now I believe after that should be where you we start. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna end it here, and he's gonna quickly do the tutorial. So we'll catch up with you guys in a few minutes.